Lucas Heilman on to punt here for Indiana State. Ryan Smith back. Will let it bounce out of bounds at about the 10-yard line. That's where the Bison will open up their opening possession. When you talk about a guy who's been very good, a guy who just punted that one, Heilman has been outstanding this year. He's had a bunch of punts over 10, a bunch inside that, you know, pinning him back. In fact, um, you know, one of the guys from Indiana State said that the, had he, meaning the punter, has really been kind of our 12th man on defense. He's been so good this year. And unpredictably, this guy was recruited to play baseball, went yep. to Baylor to play baseball, transferred back to finish at Indiana State, was a center fielder for the Sycamores, finished up his career there last season, and now he's a starting punter on the football team, so kind of a diamond in the rough. Lucas Heilman will come on to boot it away, the former Sycamore baseball player. As Ryan Smith will take the fair catch at his own 30 and a little better field position for NDSU on this drive. That was 49 to go in the half. That was an outstanding punt. Yeah. Great Heilman. hang time. Had to, had to bring him back. Or Smith had to retreat all the way to his 30. Well, I'll tell you what, Trent Miles had a chance to talk to him earlier this week. He said, you know, People come in to look at Obaseki. They come in to look at Bell, these NFL scouts, and they say, who the heck is this punter? Where'd you get him from? They're like, hey, we got him from the baseball, baseball team. team. Yep. He's our center fielder. <laughs> and they, they're just taken back by him. And just a discrepancy in punts. Heilman came in with 31 punts this season. NDSU's Ben LeCompte came in with 10. So you can tell, uh, you know, which guy's been used a little bit more, certainly, so far this season. nothing here in the first quarter. You just saw Lucas Heilman punt for Indiana State, and he's actually playing with some extra incentive today. He's a local guy that grew up in Anna, starring in both football and baseball. Now he's also the starting center fielder for the NBC champ Sycamore baseball team. Ended up walking on the football team. It was actually Indiana State AD Ron Prettyman who discovered him at halftime of a soccer game. Not bad for a conference. Not bad for a guy who's leading the conference right now and punting with about 43 yards per punt, even drawing the attention of NFL scouts. Guys? No doubt about it, Kelly. It's a great find for Trent Miles, and uh, the kid, as we saw there, uh, not much of a punt on that last one, but as we talked about, nine punts last week for an average of 41. You don't even want really to see that in the pros. This is Strother trying to cut the corner, and it's strung out by the Indiana State defense on the first down carry. Saluki bounce out of bounds and Southern Illinois will have this possession at their own 35 yard line just underway here in the second quarter with Southern Illinois leading it by three. There you see Lucas Heilman, one of the great punters in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. As Kelly mentioned played center field for Indiana State in their Missouri Valley Conference Championship that uh, they won last year in the Valley in Heilman. Is, um, Trent Miles told me this week is being considered uh, maybe uh, getting some lipsy from some NFL teams, and you can see it here with the leg that we've seen here early on. Well, he's a man after my own heart as a two-sport athlete at the University of Iowa. It's always nice to see those guys that stay with their dreams, and like you said, when you're athletic and you have that type of powerful foot, you can have a bright future. Ready? Yep. Oof. 